Hey, what's up folks, how's it going? This is Wodge. Hope you guys are all doing well. So the new AMD and NVIDIA GPUs are finally out. And the real question of interest that I want to address is what is the performance of the GTX 1080 compared to two RX 480s and Crossfire? And in order to address this issue, we have our hands on the MSI Aero version of the GTX 1080. And we're gonna be taking one of those cards and putting it against a two HIS RX 480s and Crossfire to see which setup comes out on top, both in terms of 1080p resolution and 4K gaming. So if you're interested in seeing which solution has the best overall gaming performance, stay tuned and let's find out. Now, before we tell you the our performance results, let's get into the specifications of a single RX 480 from HIS and the MSI Aero version of the GTX 1080. Now, in terms of shader cores or processors, a single RX 480 is gonna have around 2,300 stream processors. So with uh, two of them, we're gonna have over 4,600 stream processors, which is definitely gonna be very competitive compared to a single GTX 1080 that has about 2560 CUDA cores in total. Now, in terms of the uh, clock speed. Our HIS uh, RX 480 is clocked around a 1267 megahertz on its boost frequency uh, versus the GTX 1080 goes well above 1700 megahertz, which is uh, definitely a lot faster. In terms of the uh, memory specifications, we're using the eight gigabyte version of the RX 480. So we're gonna have over 16 uh, gigabytes of uh, GDDR5 memory clocked in around 8,000 megahertz. A single GTX 1080 has about eight gigs of GDDR5X memory, uh, but it's clocked in over 10,000 megahertz, which is pretty darn insane. In terms of memory interface, both platforms have a 256-bit memory bus, so we're kind of similar in terms of the overall bandwidth of memory on both cards. Now, in terms of our benchmarking rig, we're going to be using our old uh, trusty Intel Core i7 6700K uh, system uh, paired with the Asus Z170 Deluxe motherboard with about 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. Memory. Check out the link in the description for detailed information about all the equipment we're using for our benchmarking setup. Now, if you guys are familiar with the RX 480, you know that there's kind of a controversy going on with how much power it utilizes through the PCI Express connector. Now, based on the information out there, uh, most people who are using contemporary motherboards such as the Z170 or X99 are really not affected too much. It's only with people using older chipsets where it's uh, giving you some issues there. But uh, luckily, there are going to be driver updates to address this issue. I didn't have any major problems with any crashing or any hardware errors based on uh, my current uh, copies of the HIS RX 480s. But in terms of uh, the power consumption with uh, two RX 480s in Crossfire, it's definitely going to take a lot more power than a single GTX 1080, which uh, hovers around 180 watts uh, versus the uh, RX 480s in Crossfire with uh, just the GPU themselves are going to draw almost uh, over 300 100 watts, which is a definitely a significant amount of power. And you want to make sure you have a decent amount of power supply if you're going to do any kind of multi GPU setups. Now, in terms of the load temperatures, uh, both cards uh, pretty much on kind of factory settings uh, hit uh, just above 80 degrees C at uh, full 100% load, not gaming load. This is using firmware, so more of an extreme test. And uh, the coolers on both platforms are not very good. They're both blower style coolers, so they're not the best in terms of overall cooling efficiency and in terms of noise they're definitely not going to be good as some of the other fancier aftermarket coolers the two rx 480s at gaming load are extremely loud i measured almost 46 decibels uh, when playing uh, crisis 3 which is definitely very loud compared to the 34 decibels we have on the msi version of the gtx 1080 which is not the fancy cooler that they employ this is the more cheaper blower style cooler that is again not the best thing out there, but it comes at a lower price tag. Now let's finally move into our performance at benchmark results. We're going to take a look at a 3D Mark Firestrike. And as you can see over here, this is a perfect synthetic benchmark. So a real world gaming will always vary in terms of the actual performance results as you're going to see uh, later on down the road. But initially, it looks like the uh, dual uh, crossfire configuration with RX 480s is actually doing really, really good. Beating out the GTX 1080 in pretty much every setting from 1080p to 4K resolution, but not by a huge margin. 
version. If you take a look at uh, some other uh, results such as uh, GTA 5 over here, you are going to notice that the Crossfire configuration doesn't really scale up like it does in most synthetic benchmarks in real world gaming applications where you can see a significant difference between the GTX 1080 and a Crossfire configuration with RX 480s. You can also see at the bottom I've thrown in the results for the GTX 1070 which is also from MSI the uh, Aero version. It's pretty much the exact same cooler as our GTX 1080 so uh, things are as equivalent as possible. So I'm going to now be quiet. You can uh, take a look at some of our other uh, real world uh, gaming benchmark results and determine which one is best for you. So let's get right into it. But really on that guys, that's really it. In most scenarios, the GTX 1080 is going to beat out an RX 480 Crossfire configuration, especially when you take a look at real life gaming applications. And uh, although the price is very competitive on the RX 480s, that's one thing AMD always pushes is a lot of value. And if you have a little bit more of a tighter budget, I would definitely check out a Crossfire configuration between two RX 480s. Uh, but in most scenarios, uh, I think a single GPU setup is definitely more cohesive. It's a simpler solution and will have definitely better overall gaming support because not all games are optimized for multi-GPU setups, especially in Crossfire. And uh, compared to the uh, GTX 1070, the RX 480s are slightly faster, but they are coming at a higher price point than a single GTX 1070. But really, other than that, guys, that's really it. Now, we do have a dedicated review out for the HIS RX 480s. So if you're interested in just running one of those graphics cards for your new gaming setup, definitely check out that video. You'll find that in the description down below. But really on that, guys, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more content like this, and we'll see you later. Take care.